Every day I try to incorporate at minimum three things. I have math, then I have a fluency activity, I'll explain that, um, and then I have a writing activity. So all three of these things I do every day, try to. It depends on behaviors, it depends on different things, mass, interruptions, things. They do that physical activity and they, they still need to be holding. Hold, 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 hold. And that is a hard thing to do. But it teaches them that they need to be holding it. They can't they can't just boom. I don't know what that is. <laughs> you know, so walk, walk, suck. Because they're deaf, so they don't have that that language before coming into the classroom, typically. So they come into my classroom, kindergarten, say like five years old. Some of them, some of them have been in preschool before, but some of them don't. They come into my classroom, they have limited language. So that idea of expressive language, they don't have that. So you have to pull it out or you have to tell them you have to wait. Like instead of signing, you have to wait. So that physical movement and that way of knowing right now I can't versus I can, it's you have to like explicitly teach that. Hearing kids, no, they already have that experience but deaf kids they don't have that so you have to explicitly teach this time can sign this time no 
kit. So that it's a it's a building blocks. It, it teaches now can now can't you know just explicit teaching for deaf kids. books and they have a picture prompt. They have, they have to look at it and they have to write and they can like specifically related with that picture yes but they can make up a story they can make up whatever they want to connect with that picture um, but they don't they're not yet writing English words. Right now what we're doing is I have a handshake handshake holder but uh, they put down, so like, if you wanted to put down the word for cat, they don't know how to spell C-A-T, not yet. But they can sign cat, so you pull it out, it can be F, can be 9, can be whatever, F9, put it down, write down F, write down 9, 9, put it down. That means cat for them. They know that. They don't get, yeah, they will learn eventually C-A-T means cat, but right now they have ideas. They have here. They just can't put it down yet. With this handshake tool, they can. So every day, and, and that's another thing trying to transition ASL, transition to English eventually. <laughs> is gonna fall down. It's like, I'm just thinking and thinking. This year we have desks, individual desks, right? Last year we had a table, horseshoe, and the kids would sit. So to get attention for deaf kids, you that's how you get attention. Look at me. If you're all like sitting at a table, you on the table, right? This year, I don't have that table. So I've been using the floor. <laughs> Every day, Jane's like, wow, the ceiling's gonna fall. <laughs> because that's how I get their attention, is they feel the vibrations. <laughs> They don't have 
that language before they come into my classroom. They don't have that language, so they come into my classroom and that's their safe place. And that's why they blow up. They feel safe, safe with me. So it's, they come into my classroom, they can communicate, they can tell me how they feel. Some of their homes they don't have. They don't have that language, they don't have that communication. So, at home they're alone. They're just, they're alone. They don't have brothers and sisters. Sisters and brothers. <laughs> Moms, dads, to communicate with them. So, they're alone, weekends, nights, summer break. So they come into my classroom and I try my best to give them everything I can because they they deserve it. They they need it. That they, they I I I love those kids. It's it's not their fault that they're deaf, right? You know? It's not their fault that I can't blame them for their behaviors or the, like how they communicate because they don't have that at home sometimes. So yes, I drop them off and I tell them I love them and I'll see them tomorrow. And every day it's like, I want you to come back. I want you to come back. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Tell me how your day was and how your night was and tell me because I, I'm here and I can understand and I can listen and I can communicate with you.